You pick a flower, it goes ping. You lick a lollipop, it goes ring, ring. If you touch a squirrel, it will burp. If you poke a snail, it would slut. Well, poetry is a really expressive way of um, encompassing your thoughts. And for a lot of children um, who maybe find literacy difficult, but they're very familiar with lyrics and music, poetry can really chime well with them. And it's a really good introduction, which maybe take them further into kind of reading and writing other forms of literature. There's a, a pressing need to get authors and poets into schools just because, unfortunately, a lot of young people struggle with literacy. And it's great to be able to inspire them by saying that these are books that I've written, these are, these are things that I've done, and you can do that too. What I like about writing poems is that you can use your imagination and write whatever you like, and you can just have fun with it, and make sure that you add a piece of you into your writing. The Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park Poetry Challenge that Discover and the Legacy List did together was a three-year project about using the Olympic Park as a resource for creativity, creative writing and poetry. Having local performance poets coming into their school, inspiring them to write their own poetry. And we supported them in sessions in schools to create their own poetry around various things in the park. We started with the buildings and did shape poetry. Year two, we did play and looked at Tumbling Bay and the development of that. Year three, we went back to the winning words, poems that are actually situated in the park and we worked on those. I like writing poems because you get to express yourself. Poem, you can do anything. It can be about the cloud, it can even be about the wall, it can even be about something boring. And when you write a poem, it's making something magical and amazing. Each term, every class needs to do a poetry unit of work. And I think often it's probably one of the things that teachers find more difficult to teach. And I think to be able to work with a professional poet, it not only supports the children, but it also supports the teachers. The focus of the project was, of course, the process, because in creative arts it always is. The second level, we created a poetry challenge, and each school was encouraged to send in final poem from each child who wanted to do it to the poetry challenge we would shortlist we had a judging panel here at discover of poets legacy list trustees myself and we shortlisted down so we created an anthology of poetry and then every year we had an overall winner i hope the winners of the competition will take this as a sign that they should carry on basically what we we're doing is we're saying look that that poem that you wrote this voice that you have, it's good, we want more of it, continue. Which is really important for them to know. So it's very great poem. I didn't expect that she's gonna do like something like this. It's amazing. I'm so proud about her poem. Hopefully they'll use this as a, as a starting point for their interest in poetry and literacy generally. Perhaps it will create a more, uh, 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 more ownership of the park for them and their, their sort of place in the area, their part in the area. And I think probably importantly as well, they can see that what their, what their capabilities are and to, and to grow. You only have to read the anthology of the short-listed poets to see oh, enormous qualities of imagination, uh, fun, thinking. It's a real privilege to know what young people are thinking, what goes on inside their heads, and we don't see it enough. It feels good to be a finest in the poetry competition because first of all I found it hard and I didn't think I was going to do it, but then I did it, and I'm proud of myself. The impact from, from day one on the kids of just being able to come to a school and offer them a creative writing session, um, right through to the final celebration event where you've got children sharing their poems that are published in, in booklets, the pride in their faces, that whole journey for them is something that can't easily be replicated. Projects like this are just key and need to be in every school.